we are with our uh, Loki 2500 stove here. So um, this is the first time I ever built a fire in this thing. Never built a fire in a fire wood stove before. So they kind of said to build up some bigger pieces on the bottom there. So I did that. And they said it's like a I don't know, stack type thing. And I did a little piece of like rolled paper in there and then I got some kindling on top. So we're going to see how this thing goes. And supposedly we're supposed to cure this thing like uh, 400 degrees for 45 minutes and then 600 degrees for 45 minutes. We're gonna see how bad it smells. Um, we're gonna try this thing out here. So, let's see if I can even start a fire first. Let's see. Hold on, we'll be right back. So it also says in the instructions to keep the thing all the way in. The I don't know what you, the technical terms for these things anyway, but the thing that uh, the airflow thing, more air pushed all the way in, less air, the more you pull it out, damper, something like that. Anyway, uh, so and also warned that you want to keep the door open slightly um, so that this doesn't stick to the paint or something like that when you when you do your first initial cooking process, I guess. So. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can actually start a fire. Okay. Strings anywhere matches, which are hard to come by these days. Far so good, it looks like. <laughs> okay, so it appears to be burning okay. They said this is a top down fire method where you have <coughs> stacked up here and then um, it kind of burns down into the bigger stuff, I guess. I don't know if we need a bunch more kindling on there or what. Like I said, never built a fire before in a wood stove, so. I'm not sure if we need more kindling than that or not on there. Hmm. Top down fire. I'm not sure how it's supposed to burn the box stuff from the bottom now. <laughs> Kindling is burning well. It's a good sign, I guess. We do have a. I do have a temperature thing on the chimney here. So I'm going to try and use that to measure um, the 400 degrees or whatever for. 45 minutes or whatever and bump it up after that. So, so far, it's just burning the kindling looks like. Not smelling anything, not noticing any smell off at all, so, so far. So it'll be burning along pretty well. I don't know how it's gonna get the stuff on towards the bottom though. Okay. Temperature seems to be maintaining steadily, so it's not really rising yet. Get a little bit of heat coming off of that. Front door. Oh, where'd you find that, Anna? Yeah. Thank you. Remember to turn them off when you shut the door, please. Okay, so it seems to be actually, it does seem to be catching the couple of pieces of wood on the fire that were below it. Not 
sure if I'm supposed to stack more wood on top or what. According to our chim guard um, temperature gauge, we're still at, well, we haven't moved, so it's about 100 degrees. Right, sure. Really. So, that hasn't really moved yet. Kind of waiting on that. seem to be burning the stuff that was on the bottom of oh, us, good. Pieces of kindling, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Are you supposed to close it or keep it open? I'm supposed to keep it open. Otherwise, the seal will. So he says for the first curing, you're supposed to keep the door open slightly. Hmm. It's not getting super hot yet, folks. What? The stuff's just catching on fire, so. Yeah. <coughs> Don't notice the smell at all. My temperature gauge hasn't moved. Abby, do you want to watch me play? Although, this does smell What's a little that bit for? Nothing. A little bit above room temperature. <laughs> Abby, looks like your hair Fire's is going pretty good in there. Watch me play. It's pretty. It looks, it looks really good with the fire burning in there. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm supposed to bring it up to 400 degrees. Temperature thing is not moving. It is working. Kids didn't mess with this, did they? Uh, Not too much. I messed with it. You did? I didn't. Oh, okay. Fire's burning nicely. It looks really nice. A little bit of heat coming off. Nothing crazy, though. Nothing burning in the house. Hey, jump! You can't jump. Oh, no. You can't jump on it. Mm hmm. 
to get the skateboard. Still don't notice the smell, so I imagine it's not hot enough yet. Okay, we're going to pause this for now as we try and get the temperature up. Apparently that uh, method of starting a fire worked pretty well. Coffee. Bigger pieces on the bottom, kind of stacked so they can get airflow in there. And smaller pieces have some paper in the middle, some kindling on top. And yeah, it did burn from the top to the bottom, so we're good. Like I said, this is my first fire ever in a wood still, so it seems to be working pretty good. And I will report back. Well, I'll just put you on pause, actually. And let you know how it's smelling. Um, if I can get the temperature, my temperature gauge to move at all. And uh, anyway, we'll we'll be back. Oh, okay, so I added another piece of wood because it was dying down there. A decent chunk of firewood, not super huge. And I'm getting a little bit of a smell, so I think it's starting to cure finally. Um, the thermometer on the stove top, the stove pipe is still not reading that high. But it's got a good fire going in there. Decent bed of coals there. So got a little bit of a smell. I might <coughs> I'd, um, open the front window, turn on the whole house fan just through this one window, and just get a nice breeze going through here. Wait, what's a baby? Um, shameless plug for the quiet, cool whole house fan right here. Awesome uh, piece of equipment. Um, definitely, I'll get some air moving through your house, and I think that'll help a lot. So it. It is starting to smell a little bit. So I guess that means it's working, that's good. I just wish I could get the temperature gauge is moving very slowly, so I guess it's working, it's... Oh, oh. your turn. <laughs> Whoa! I guess it's around, uh, what about 250 right now, it says. So I need it's to get it up to 400, it says, for 45 minutes. That's according to the directions. It's 400 degrees for 45 minutes, then hot burn, 600 Aww. degrees for 45 minutes, so apparently, I'm going to try and make that happen. Anyway, it is starting to smell a little bit, so that's good, I think. That means it's working and curing or whatever, and uh, so I'm going to open the front window and uh, turn on the fan, see how that uh, gets the air flow in here and get the smell going out of here, hopefully. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Got the fire roaring a couple times. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get up to 600 degrees and maintain it there and measure that. The thing on the pipe is just to measure the, the temperature of the pipe and it says it's too hot if it gets up to 600 degrees anyway, which is understandable. I don't think the pipe is rated to get 600 degrees. Especially since it's like double walled and <laughs> it's supposed to keep things rather cool. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna build the fire up again just a bunch of little pieces of wood. I don't know if you can really see the fire there. <sighs> got a kind of big piece of wood in the middle and I had stuff leaned up against it and that got the fire going pretty hot. I'm not sure how you're supposed to maintain a temperature of 600 degrees for um, 45 minutes. But just like you're supposed to maintain a temperature of 400 degrees for 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna try and stoke it up here. And then, uh, what else? So, I've just been laying pieces of wood. Smaller pieces of wood, like that size. Kind of up against it in like a, like a tent fashion, kind of. And, uh, seems to get things going pretty when I do that. There's a flat piece. Uh -huh. Very flat. Imagine it's getting pretty hot in there. Oops. Okay, so as you can see, it's going to start going here pretty good here in a minute. taken off and you know just trying to get it I don't know trying to guesstimate I don't know, 
600 degrees. I don't know, just, just keep stuffing wood in it like that. Smaller pieces, kind of more spread out to get more airflow and stuff like that and it's burning quicker, I guess. Anyway, we're gonna try and maintain kind of it kind of stoked for a while. Probably it goes through the wood like this, but supposed to be 600 degrees for 45 minutes, so I don't know. So we're gonna keep it stoked like this for a while. And hopefully that equates to 600 degrees. <laughs> kind of hard to tell though. Okie doke, we'll be back. And by the way, it's smelling a little bit, but uh, not really that bad. And uh, getting the fan circulating the air through the, the front room here seems to be really helping. It was starting to get a little bit strong, I think. Not Nothing crazy, but I'm kind of sensitive to the smell. So anyway, yeah, we're just gonna keep stoking it like this, trying to keep the fire kind of roaring like this. And uh, hopefully that'll be what they want, 600 degrees for 45 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, so I had the fire roaring there pretty good and I, I uh, looked at the top of the stove there and I saw smoke coming off of the top. So I'm assuming that that was the paint curing. Um, so it did that for a little bit and it kind of stopped doing that. So I'm assuming that's the paint curing. Still not really sure. I guess if you got a good thermometer on the stove itself, you could tell how hot it was. I might do that, but that one was just for the chimney. Anyway. So I'm keeping the wood going in there pretty good. Keeping the, seems to get it pretty hot, so. But I haven't noticed any more smoke coming off the top. So that's been about 20 minutes. It's pretty hot, so I'm gonna keep running it hot and uh, hopefully that'll cure it all the way. Anyway, just a little update there and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. I've kept the fire roaring here with smaller pieces of wood and it seems like I haven't noticed any more smoke. I've had it probably about going about 20 minutes since I noticed the smoke co coming off the top there and it wasn't a whole lot, it was just a little bit. So I'm thinking, I think I'm about, you know, 35, 40 minutes into this, so I'm probably going to let this, I'm going to do one more pile of wood, and I'm thinking that will probably be, I'm just guesstimating, 600 degrees-ish um, for about 45 minutes they wanted. So, smells not that bad, um, a little bit of a, what kind of, how you would really describe it. Like something metallic, kind of cooking a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Which makes sense. But, uh, yeah, it seems to be uh, doing pretty well. Um, so I, I guess that's pretty much a wrap for the low key 2500 uh, wood stove here. Um, like they said, keep the door open a little bit when you're doing it, when you're curing it. I guess otherwise the stuff might get tacky, it might stick to it, I don't know. But, uh, seems to be working really well. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to wrap that up. If there's anything else, I'm going to add it at the end of this video here. But I think that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, everyone.